Hey guys, it's actually a really nice day outside in Toronto today. It's about eight degrees. Don't ask me what that is in Fahrenheit. I do not know. Um, and I don't want to know, to be honest. So, yeah, we're just gonna take a little walk through downtown Toronto, check out whatever Christmassy vibes we can find. That's what we're doing today. The wife is here. If you can, oh, still getting used to this, still getting used to this gimbal thing. Um, yeah, anyway, we'll bring you guys along for the ride. Here we go. It's a sign of the times that this like little Christmas area square here has become a little bit of a tent city, unfortunately. It's definitely unfortunate just how things are playing out for some people. Homeless shelters are probably limiting their capacity. So if there is a uh, organization in your area that you could donate to that just helps people who are struggling this time of year or any time of year, but in particular in 2020, obviously, uh, donate to them. Maybe I'll put some links below to some here in Toronto that you can help out if you are so inclined. Toronto is not a very festive city, especially when it comes to Christmas. There's other things, there's a lot of festivals and stuff around town that you go to, but like in the summer, but when it comes to Christmas, on the best years, it's not really all that like festive. There's a couple pockets and spots here and there, but like this is like our main square in front of our city hall. And at most we got a sign that's lit up and it says Toronto or as I see it right now, Ot Norot. Don't have many options for food. We got street meat, even those guys are pretty much closed off. And then uh, there's a hero burger here, which is great. Decent, decent burger, not the greatest, but it's literally my hero right now. And uh, we're here, hey, can uh, can get a poutine? Do you want, can we make that a poutine for my console? It's Canada, so you gotta have a poutine. Poutine, for those of you who don't know, um, is french fries, hot gravy with cheese. Terribly, terribly unhealthy, but it works. Trust me, it works. Poutine, 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 poutine. No, it doesn't sound appetizing, but oh, come on guys, look at that. I don't want to hype it up too much because it's really, it's not like that, that special. Anybody in the world can make this, so like Canadians would tell you, oh my god, I miss poutine so much. Like, it's really good though, but like, if I was somewhere else in the world, I wouldn't be like, mm, I miss a poutine. Mm. Or maybe I might. I think I've actually literally said those words. All right, camera off, gotta eat. That's kind of freaky. Anyway, yeah, let's go take a look and uh, take a look through the windows of the bay. I think the concept here is some robot that processes Santa's uh, names of the kids and apparently it runs on DOS or the Matrix. <laughs> if I remember DOS correctly, this uh, robot is about to shut down very soon. Moving on to window number two. It was, uh, trying to think of something smart assy to say about that window, but I got nothing. If you have a good joke for that window, please drop it in the comments. So this window looks like it's like some KitchenAid stand mixer type <laughs> robots <laughs> that are making toys. I see Santa is not using union labor anymore and it's 
putting all these elves out of work. It's very disappointing, Santa. This window is obviously the one that makes the most sense. It's snowmen making snow angels. This is a weird one. But I might be overanalyzing this stuff a little too much. Nah. It, it is still weird to see the city so like empty. It's like Friday night in December, like all these restaurants would have normally been packed. There would have been some office Christmas party that would have led to some sexual harassment lawsuits. And now none of that can happen. What's going on here? Looks like a movie shoot going on here. Let's see how long before somebody tells me to put my camera away. <laughs> I wonder seeing that crew and me holding this camera, which surprisingly nobody questioned me on as we walked through. Usually there's always somebody with a clipboard and a sense of entitlement that feels the need to tell you to put the camera away anywhere you're, anytime you're anywhere near one of these sets. Fun fact, this is the St. Regis Hotel. It was the Trump Hotel up until about 2016, and I don't remember what happened that year, but um, for some reason they decided it was probably a good idea to rename it. I don't think he owned it, I think he just had naming rights, but uh, whoever the owner was decided maybe we could call it something else. Thus concludes our walkabout in Toronto during COVID. Let's get back on the subway, get back home, and watch a Christmas movie, preferably one that's set in New York. Oh, is that us? All right. Leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. And hopefully you heard any of that between my mask and the very loud train and the lady who tells us where we are. I don't know if you heard any of that. That's it. That's all I got. Peace.